Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will have a look at styles in Anime Studio. Styles are a way to apply colors and strokes to vector shapes. Styles are very convenient since you only need to create a style once. Apply it to as many vector drawings as needed. Then, when you did the style, the changes propagate to all the vector shapes on which the styles was applied. In this example, we have the head of a character. The default white colored shapes were applied to all the parts of the head. Now let's create some styles for that head. First thing we need to do is to go to the styles window. Click on the styles drop down, then click on the new button. Next, we need to give a proper name to our new style. I'm naming this one hair. Then we go to the color swatches and left click on the color we want for the fill color. Next, we right click on the color we want for the stroke color. We then set the width of the stroke for our style. That's it. We just created our first style. The next thing we need to do is select the layer of the vector shape we want to apply the style to. Just hover the mouse cursor over the hair layer in the main window. Then press and hold Alt, then right click. As you can see in the layers window, the hair layer was selected. Then select the shape select tool by pressing Q on your keyboard. Next, just select hair from the style one drop down menu. The style is then applied to the hair vector shape, as you can see in the main window. Now let's open the style to see how it works. This checkbox is the override for the fill color. What it does is it allows the color of the style to override any color previously applied to the selected shape. Let's turn it off so you can see. As soon as I turn it off, the brown color vanishes and we see the default white that was applied to the selected shape. If I turn it back on, the color of the style reappears on top of any previous color. Then we do the same for the stroke color and width. I am going to leave these two turned off and the reason is that I prefer to have a separate style for stroke lines. So let's create one. Let's call this one lines. Let's select a contrasting color so we can see what happens. We can change it later. Let's turn off the override for the fill color since we only want the stroke attributes for the style. We will leave two for the stroke width. Again, let's select the hair vector shape and this time we will apply both the hair and line styles to the shape. Sure enough, the hair now has a nice brown color with a red outline. Now let's select both brows vector layer with alt right click and with the select shape tool select the shapes then assign both styles. Now let's give those cheeks some color. Create a new style, then name it skin. Go into the swatches drop down, then select skin.png, then pick a nice skin tone, then set the stroke width to 2. You may select the default swatch, since we'll need it later on. Since we only need the fill color for this style, turn off override for both the stroke color and width. Again, select the skull's vector shape with Alt and right click. Select the shape with the shape select tool, then assign the skin and line styles to it. Proceed the same way for the other shapes that need the skin and line styles applied to them. Next, we will work on the eyes. Select the left eye layer. Select the eyelid line at the top 
Apply the line style to it. Do the same for the right eye. Let's zoom in a bit, then create a new style and name it eyes.white. This time I want the stroke to be part of the style. So we will leave the override for the strokes checked. Then we will give the stroke width a value of 1. So the line is thinner than the others. Then apply the styles to both eyes. We then create a new style, call it eyes.iris, give it a nice blue color. We leave the override checked and a stroke width of 1. We then apply the style to both eyes. Next, select the left pupil, create a new style, and name it Eyes Pupils. Give it a black color. Assign the style to both pupils. Uncheck stroke for both of them. As the last bit, we select the left eye I liked, then apply the eyes.white style to it, then uncheck stroke for it as well. Do the same for the right eye. Let's zoom back a bit, then let's have a look at our character. It is now fully textured. Now let's change the stroke color. Since we chose red only to show off the process, let's give it a black color from inside the line style by left clicking on the black dot in the color swatch. As you can see, we can now easily change the attributes only by editing any of the styles. We now have a nicely colored character. But there is one last trick I want to show before we can call it a quit. Select the top parent layer of the head. Open the layer attributes, open the shadows tab, then turn on the shadow on checkbox. Set offset and blur to zero. Click on the color swatch to open it. Then set the opacity all the way up. It gives us a fully saturated black. Then set expansion to two, press OK. Now press Ctrl R for a quick render. The last bit gave us a nice contour effect all around the head, which is often seen in cartoons. Well, that's it folks. Hope this was useful. See you next time.